Transistors have three legs coming off of the body. And when you look at the face closely, the face, face is the flat side. It has numbers written there. And the number on this one is 3906. 3906 is transistor number two. Transistor number two is over here. The symbol for the transistor is a circle. And around the outside of the circle, there are nails that have letters, the letter C, letter B, and letter E. This transistor here has straight legs. That's transistor number one. And if you looked at the face, it would say 3904. Looking at your information sheet, you can see that the legs of the transistor are given numbers or letters, E, B, and C. You need to match the legs up with the nail of the same letter. For example, transistor one. If I take these legs and separate them slightly, being careful and bend them gently, I know that the left leg is the letter E, and you can check your information sheet for that. I can see that here on the transistor symbol for transistor one, that that circle has the letter E located right here. So that's where the right leg is going. I can see the letter B is coming backwards. So I'm gonna bend the transistor leg back slightly. And that means that the left leg is actually gonna go over towards C. So when I bend those legs gently, I can stand it up so that the E leg is coming down to the E nail. The B leg is going to the B nail and the C leg is going to the C nail. We are then gonna connect that onto our wires. We'd repeat the process for transistor number two. A little helpful hint. The front face of transistor one should be looking into the middle of the circuit. And when we get transistor two in place, the front face over here should be looking towards the transistor number one. So what we're doing is looking for which one of the three nails has some extra solder on it so we can connect one of the legs there. I can see that on the letter E nail, there's some solder. And so I'm gonna take my soldering iron and heat that up. And once it becomes liquefied, I'm going to stick the leg of my transistor into that liquid solder and hold it there while it is hardening. Now it's hardened in place and it's fastened where it needs to be. I can use the pliers and carefully and gently bend one of the other legs so it's coming into contact with one of the wires. We want to solder it onto the wire, not to the nail. It's gonna have a better connection that way. So again, I'm gonna get my iron wet. And now that I have that leg in place, I'm going to use the solder to connect it there more permanently. After it dries, check that the connection is secure by grabbing it with your pliers and giving it a little gentle tug. And then you'd repeat the third process of connecting the last leg over to the nail that it needs to go to. Again, be careful. You're gonna bend it gently and put it in a position where it's touching against where the wire and nail are located of the right letter. In this case, it's the letter C, because when I look at it from the front, the legs were going E, B and C. So the last leg there is C. After I soldered this one in place, I would then repeat the process and get my transistor number two located in this location.